week's Torah portion, Pinchas, we read about a dramatic story of Benot Tzlovchad, the daughters of Tzlovchad. They were five sisters who lived during the Exodus when the Israelites were leaving Egypt. And at the time, they went up to Moses and asked him, can they inherit property in the absence of a male heir? The daughters of Tzlovchad bravely approached Moshe, Moses, asking him, can they take on the property that their father had once owned? The rabbis create all of these fanciful midrashim. And one of the most important things that they talk about is this group of five women, their tenacity, their strength. That when all of these men in the previous scenes were willing to go back to the land of Egypt, when they did not have the bravery to enter the land of Israel, they themselves were fighting for themselves to have a holding. They were fighting for themselves to have land that they could own in the land of Israel, even when so many others wished to simply return to Egypt. These women were the pioneers. They were the ones who wanted to go to Eretz Israel, to the land of Israel, even when no one else wanted to. They were not happy with the status quo, and so they organized together, even in the face of people who wanted to turn back. Our Naaseh Committee, our Social Justice Committee, is in the process of organizing, of getting together, working on issues, anything from the Farm Bill that has recently been in the political sphere here in the United States, to talking about various issues of crime in different parts of Chicago and also hunger in our very own communities. What can you, what can we all do to be like Benot Tzlovchad? What can we do not settling for the status quo in our community and instead organize together? How can we work together to feel a greater sense of pride and ownership of our community here at Ancheyamet and in Chicago? Please contact me and anyone else in the NASA committee as we try and work together to make change. Shabbat Shalom. Mm -hmm.